Okay, now what we have here is a trio of very unintelligent, woke, pro-Disney Star Wars shills. And they're discussing the Acolyte. More importantly, their previews and predictions for the Acolyte, which is rumored to have a release date of June 5th and is said to be taking place in the High Republic era 100 years before The Phantom Menace. Now, so this is 100 years prior to The Phantom Menace? Yeah. I've heard 150, I've also heard 200, but we're gonna go with 100 years before The Phantom Menace. That's the one I hear the most. Now, as these three begin discussing their previews and predictions for The Acolyte, it becomes obvious almost immediately that these three individuals have no idea what the fuck they are talking about. What we've seen in the Skywalker saga is that Jedi have been eliminated and Sith have been sort of like under the radar the entire time. I bet, about 100 years before that, though, there were just as many Sith as there were Jedi. No, there were not. 100 years before The Phantom Menace, there were not as many Sith as there were Jedi. I mean, there's so much to unpack with this. First of all, Rule of Two. Because even the Rule of Two, we know is bullshit, right? Yeah. Always two there are. No more. No less. Because even the Rule of Two, we know is bullshit, right? Yeah. So what you're saying is with the, what we got in The Phantom Menace, the Rule of Two makes less sense than just as many Sith as there are Jedi existing. And the other thing is that it is stated in The Phantom Menace that the Sith have been extinct for a millennium, as far as the Jedi are aware. So if what this dumb broad said earlier is true... I bet, I, about a hundred years before that, though, there were just as many Sith as there were Jedi. How are the Jedi not able to sense hundreds, if not thousands, of dark side users through the Force? And if you thought that was canon breaking, wait till you hear this nonsense. What I think is interesting is why and how Jedi will defect. What is it about their teachings? What is it about you know needing to rebel from sort of the Jedi path that they turn to being in the Sith? So not only is the Jedi Council so inept that they can't sense a large number of Sith in the galaxy... They are also, in your crazy head cannon, completely oblivious to Jedi leaving the Order and joining the Sith. I do not believe the Sith could have returned without us knowing. So I think what we're going to see is a lot of people defecting over to the Sith side and then the Sith all killing each other. Ooh. Stupid fucking guns! Okay, so this channel is affiliated with the new rock stars, right? So you're telling me that there's not some producer behind the scenes who knows that everything that this broad just said is bullshit and is choosing not to say anything. Probably because a woman is speaking, and at the new rock stars, when a woman is speaking, especially a feminist woman, you do not interrupt her, and you absolutely do not correct her. But don't worry, new rock stars, because I am here to do that for you. So moving on now, they proceed to discuss Darth Plagueis, who I am convinced they have no idea who he actually is. And I'm wondering if that's going to be an acolyte, no. if Pl Plagueis is actually going to be in this, because the dates Probably. work for it. Definitely. Yeah. You don't think and it's he, And he died because his uh, apprentice initiated right. the rule of two. First of all, I don't know if she misspoke or what, but the word initiated means to begin something. Neither Palpatine nor Plagueis initiated the rule of two. We've discussed this. Second, do these people even know that Palpatine was Plagueis' apprentice? You don't, you don't think Emperor Palpatine was Darth Plagueis? No. You don't think so? You think they were separate? Again, why the fuck is their producer not screaming at them right now? Their own viewers are shitting all over them for this segment. That Star Wars section was bad. Yeah, that's an understatement. It's okay not to know anything about a project. Just say you don't and move on. Exactly. Or, here's another one, have people on the show that actually know what they're talking about. I mean, for God's sakes, this dude can't even pronounce Plagueis' name correctly. He I mean, was also, Darth Plagueis, and then Plagueis. claims Plagueis. I like to say Plagueis. <laughs> LOL Maud, I assume that's this woman, has no idea what the High Republic looks like. There's only two Sith. 
The Rule of Two started a thousand years before The Phantom Menace. The Sith are still hiding in the shadows. There isn't going to be any kind of Sith-Jedi war. And someone responds saying, That pissed me off so fucking badly. I bet she likes the sequel trilogy, I think is what he meant to say. And I guarantee they all like the sequel trilogy, as we are about to get into. My, my whole theory was that, like, Emperor Palpatine was always... Whoever Please. the top Sith dude was, was always him. Now, keeping the sequel trilogy in mind, why would you ever think that? Could it be because of this scene from The Rise of Skywalker? I am all the Sith. Whoever Please. the top Sith dude was, was always him. Now, I'm sure you're beginning to see where he's going with this. Or he made it seem like Darth Pla Plagueis was killed by his apprentice. You think it was him? He cheated his own death and then he became yes, the apprentice? I That's think... sick! Again, they never actually say in this entire segment that Palpatine was Plagueis' apprentice. And with regards to what they're saying about Plagueis' essence passing on... You think it was him, he cheated his own death, and then he became yes, the apprentice? I That's think... sick! Sounds a lot like the rise of Skywalker, doesn't it? Kill me, and my spirit will pass into you, as all the Sith live in me. These are the lengths that these people have to go to try and make the sequel trilogy make sense. And it's so hilariously obvious that these guys have no idea what the fuck they are talking about. All of their theories and predictions that they presented in this video breaks canon tremendously. So, I think we found another demographic that Kathleen Kennedy and Disney Star Wars can cater to. You know, we have the woke freaks and the crazy radical feminists. We have the I love everything Star Wars no matter what crowd. We have the paid Disney shill influencers. And now we have stupid people. Congratulations. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out some of the other Star Wars content live on the channel. Please like and subscribe. Become a channel member. Membership options are linked in the description and on the homepage if you're interested. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one.